Okay. <clears throat> Probably gonna be shit face. Oh. I have milk duds. Milk Okay. 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 Everything else is a little dog water. Yeah, dude, I, I, I was literally like destroying oh my brain my out for like four hours trying to reinstall Windows 11 on my Asus ROG. And like, oh. I, after like, after like digging through Reddit for like almost two hours. Nine. Turns out they dropped the support for that shit, so. Seven. Six. <laughs> Regular five, means going to mess up a USB drive. Four. Three. Oh no. Two. One. It seems you've met with an uncertain fate. Yeah. You find yourself at an interdimensional crossroad. A rendezvous of travelers between worlds. Welcome to our point of contact to the narrative domain. My name is Sheen. I am a highly metastasized, infomorphic, mimetic meme turkey and one of the tour guides of VR travelers. Oh, I know what we're having for Thanksgiving. <laughs> meme turkey. <laughs> <laughs> Story-based tours with original writing, beautiful worlds, voice acting, and extra gravy. My friends, tonight is a special night. Tonight is one of the last, well, the last showing of the agent. My friends, remember this, as this tour means a lot to us. It helped all of us improve with everything we've learned, building it, performing it, and watching you interact with it. The, the honor of telling such a story could only be, could only go to the greatest storyteller, the greatest voice actor, and of course, the greatest friend. Travelers, it is always my honor to introduce to you the one, the only, Play Jim, the tour guide. Woot woot. Hello. I don't care, this is the start of the, um, uh, this is the start. Throw all your money at them. Shut up and take my money. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm not sure what I'll need to say for you, but... What? Okay. <laughs> we gotta ask a question Welcome, or something. friends, and good evening. My name is Trey Jim, and I will be your tour guide tonight. Yay! For those who have not met me before, it is a pleasure to meet you. For those who have, it is a pleasure to see you. As one of the tour guides of VR Travelers, I enjoy finding stories to tell you. And I enjoy seeing you try to solve them. But tonight does not need to be solved. My friends, this, as stated, is the last agent. As such, we are on the path to the good ending. <coughs> Don't worry, the encephalon will not allow any deviations from the mimetic recording. My friends, we have only two rules. First, as with any real tour in the real world, I politely ask that you remain with me at all times.
Additionally, I ask that each time we stop for narration, that you become silent so that the story may continue. However, you are encouraged to talk amongst yourselves as we walk from place to place. This will be an invite plus instance, and so you are all welcome to add myself or any of my fellow tour guides as friends. We will accept your requests. If you need to get back into the instance, you may need to send an invite request to one of us. Now, my friends, without further ado, I'm going to drop a portal to a place that links everything together. My friends, we are going for one last time to the Grey City to see oh, no. where this all began and where this all ended at once. My friends, please do not enter the portal until I give the signal. You must order a specific beat me. I must order a specific combo at the bar. To I don't order. have my backpack. My little knickknacks to help us do the drinking. <laughs> <laughs> and we don't have a handy dandy notebook. We don't have. We don't have. Has anyone actually got oxygen suit alcohol addict? I don't know yet. We're gonna find out. Hi, Kat. I mean, hi, Ivana. Oh. Ivana, I thought. Drama learners. My apologies. I won't be joining us for the whole tour tonight, as I have a responsibility elsewhere in the higher domain. Yes. Ether Echo requires my attention. But you are well taken care of with three other tour guides here. I'll see you next time, friends. No, is it because you lost? You lied to us. Is it because you lost your book bag? You lost your book bag. What about the announcements at the end? Did you make the announcements? Wait, wait! I got this! I got this! Roll credits! There we go! Roll credits! Okay, okay. So just making sure I remember this right. Just make sure that you order crazy things at the bar for whoever's manning it tonight. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You're gonna have to, oh, you're gonna have to serve out some oxygen soup. You dazed and forget about everything. <laughs> you are the last avatar. Oh, man. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Jesus Christ, I'm the size of a rat. Oh, shit! Oh, man, why are you doing that? Oh, there's the late night train. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I have a queue. I is there a, a substation? I, a... <laughs> I wanna go on a train. Whoa, that felt like more of a game room, actually. What are you training for? The Olympics to win the gold medal of the Olympics. Oh no, not again. Okay. 
slow fall as yep. well. Is it normal Olympics or Mario and Sonic okay, Olympics? Is Extreme Olympics, the anime edition. <laughs> a battery on my oh my! I gotta learn how to do the Super <laughs> Sand. Don't be a coward. All the Super <laughs> Sand. Do it already! Oh, my God. goodness, Paimon, <laughs> you look amazing today. You remind me of a character from. Uh, don't, don't be what are you waiting for, Pack? Go yes, on! But actually, do like, it! Competent, because you know the skin doesn't like make my PS4 die for some reason. Uh, oh, what's going on, Zelda? Yup. Do it! Oh, yeah, did anything oh, happen? Gonna do, it. do it, do it! How you in there? I did not know this was the restroom. It says do not enter. But, but I did not know this was the restroom. <laughs> That's not strong enough to take down me down. For I have the power of the chaos emeralds. Drug cartel, yes. He has to stop a drug cartel. I'd say more of a familiar cartel. Don't eat you up. Faker. Four. Oh, sorry. Not need that, Scott. Three. Two. One. Travelers, please adjust your world volume to a comfortable and immersive level. And gather around me. Without further ado, the story begins. Stepping off a late night train with shards of glass in my hair. A graze from a bullet on my left arm. And a limp from the fall. I bet you're wondering how I ended up like this. Well, let's just say that I learned some things. Found some truths they didn't want me to find. And they decided to try and silence me. And they tried to silence the wrong man. I got away from their first attempt with a few scrapes and bruises, but now oh, we got some new reports coming in. Breaking news, cyber terrorist attacks. Apparently hasn't been identified yet. Well, that's just typical. Justifies lethal force by the lady. Well, it's a good thing I left my PDA behind. Good luck tracking me now. In case it ain't obvious, I'm an agent. A hitman for the director of District 54A of the Great City. Under an organization that brands itself as the PSO. My job is to target criminals who are either too rich or too powerful to take down using the law. Well, that was my job. Now, well, now I'd like to have a little talk with this director. Let me ask you something. Have you ever woken up in the morning from a vivid dream and you expect it to fade into nothing like all dreams do? But as the hours tick by, you realize you weren't dreaming. They're memories. They feel like memories. Memories of things you've never done. Memories of seeing the sun. Memories of having a woman safe in your arms. Memories of a child calling you dead. They feel so real, so convincing. And then, you realize. I know what they did to me. My brain 
is no mine. My brain is machine. Artificial. I am a cyborg. Either they put this brain in me, or I had it the whole time, and they've hacked it. Either way, they stole who I was, who I am, away from me. Stole my life. Stole my family. Stole the people I love, and... And I let nobody get away with this. Me and the director, we're gonna have a real good talk. And he's gonna talk. Or he's gonna find out just what kind of machine he's created. All right, let's get to work. I gotta lay low. I gotta be careful who I talk to. And I gotta avoid identifying myself. Thankfully, things are a little crazy here. Seems like the small quake that happened during the train ride shook things up a little. There are workers about, so shouldn't be too hard to blend into the crowds here. But they're gonna be looking for me, so I gotta keep moving. All right, got my ticket? Ticket scanners, this way. Excuse All right, me. and one last time. I'm oh, back. Already hacked through the gate. No, you didn't Delta. need to, dude. Explaining a little bit of the situation. Just a bit of security. You can't be too careful. Fair enough. Hey, we're gonna do a little uh, searching here, though. I'm just wondering about okay. that building in existence. Uh, come here, see. Man, that tremor really did a number on this place. Well, it's no wonder. You know what they say. The world is dying. And we killed it. I say, there's only one thing I give a damn about. And it ain't the world. I can see a payphone up the steps to the arcade. But I can see some cameras too. I gotta keep my head low. At least the sound from the arcade should drown out my voice. Yes, that's right. Extra, extra large. Oh, you don't have those? Gio, we need some phones. Are you loud and clear when you're talking? My apologies. Best to hide the conversation. Here's a general rule of thumb. If you can hear me, we can hear you. The arcade. Look. Look at all those fools. Young and old gambling their lives away. Hypnotized by the lights. Sounds, colors. It's like. It's like them machines have stolen a piece of their soul. Hmm. I guess I know how that feels. Alright, now. Who to call? Think, think. I got it. I've got a tech friend who worked for PSO some years back. He's broken away in the sense, and he's the kind of guy obsessed with security. Lives alone, stays online, covers his tracks, frequents Reddit, real mysterious. But I need someone with inside knowledge. And an old-fashioned payphone is the perfect opportunity. Pick up. Uh, hey. Hello? Who's this? It's me. Listen, I need to know what's going on. What code have they got on me? Oh, thought you might contact me. I already checked. Uh, 
Yeah, you dropped code six on you, mate. Oh, damn. Well, that ain't good. No. Oh. Where are you right now? What are you doing? Oh, I'm just down at the station. You know, the one below PSOHQ. What? What, mate? You're crazy. Why are you there? Well, I'm gonna have a friendly little chat with the director. I see. I get it. All right. Listen, I've got an idea. I know a way to get you past security, but you'll have to get your hands dirty. It'll be just like the old days. Fine by me. What's your idea? Well, you know how one of my favorite hobbies is spying on security systems. I just happen to know there's someone who appears so is expecting to visit in the same station as you. He's in the Senator's Lounge. If you can draw him away from the public eye, perhaps you could, uh, borrow his identity permanently. Interesting plan. Bodyguards? Nope, he won't have any. He's traveling covertly. He even drove himself here. He's not the kind of man to draw attention to himself, so nobody but the higher ups should even recognize the ideas in the wrong hands. As long as you have his card, you'll be allowed through security. No questions asked. Or should be simple enough for you being an agent. Hmm. Well, all right, I guess that's my only option. Great. Just one question. What the hell happened? Hmm. I'll tell you next time I see you. There should be an alley across the street from here. All right, meet me in the alley when you're ready. Good luck. Senator's Lounge, huh? All right, straighten up, let's see. Should be just around the corner. Time to get moving. Let me order some pizza first. They don't have extra, extra large. Pizza. Ain't nobody got time for that. Best be prepared once we actually get the mission done. My legs want to kill me. If not, hey, there's some street dogs we can give it to. That'll be great use of it. What do you mean, order anyway? Pizza comes from vending machines. That's true. You're right. Because it's not delivery, it's DiGiorno. Oh no! I only eat Red Baron, I'm sorry! <laughs> no. Well, well, well. We got this. There's only one person here. And he looks like a complete pushover. Alright, let's put on a voice. Excuse me, uh, sir, there's a problem with your vehicle. Please come with me to the parking sector. Excuse me? And who might you be? I can explain on the way, sir. In the meantime, your vehicle is being used as a trampoline by some kids. You might want to move swiftly, sir. The police are on their way. A trampoline, you say? Show me immediately. Of course, sir. Right this way, sir. Damn, you well, have a fuss over. That was easy. Oh, Staples is happy. I lost you. I was lost. No one came to find me. I was lost. <laughs> Shit. That happens. What do you mean that happens? I was gone for two minutes. Well, this is our deal. Looks like there ain't gonna be no witnesses. Always did feel cozy in the shadows. This guy, though, 
Looks like he's about to piss himself. Poor fool. He doesn't know what he's in for. Are you... Oh, where are we going? What's the meaning of this? This isn't the way to the... He'll be fine. That seems He'll be right. Let's see. Once he got on and go briefings. I said, and his identification. This will come in mighty handy. Hmm. Sort of resembles me too. Wait. Convenient. All right. Seems like nobody heard that. Let's take a quick look in this here briefcase. Hmm. Seems like a, a shareholder of PSO, maybe. And what's this? Project Grandfather. Well, don't mean much to me. I gotta keep moving. Let's see if security lets me through with this little gem. Yeah, he's probably fine. I still think Project Grandfather's a giant grandfather clock. Hey, maybe it is. You never know. Could be. Yeah. We never know. Maybe we'll find out one day. Like, who wouldn't who would expect a giant grand grandfather clock to be the final weapon of an of an army? That's true. Let's scare the pants right now out of the enemy. Walk this way. Black you know, way. it could also Can just be, in fact, way? Grandpa, but with a really, yeah. really over-engineered walking stick. I would like to make a, I, I would like to make a withdrawal. I would like to make a deposit. Deposit your fist. Oh, well, excuse me, sir, but you can't make a deposit. You have to do that on Sundays when we're closed. Uh, yeah, it's so uh, yeah. Uh, D O L E K Y. My friends, this story must continue. I ask your continued silence. Man, this place really. See some identification. And the horns for you, Gary. Thank you. One moment, please. Hmm. Everything checks out, sir. Thank you. Have a nice day. Uh, sir, one more thing. Due to recent events, we are performing bio scans on randomly selected individuals. You have been randomly selected. Please step aside so our attendant can perform the scan. Bio scan. What is she talking about? Hmm. This must be about the cyber terrorist thing. Gotta find a way to weasel my way out of this. I appreciate that, but could you randomly select the next individual? I was already delayed by the earthquake, and the director of PSO is expecting me. I do not want to make him wait any longer. There it is. Fear in the eye. Gotcha. Please, uh, d uh, director. Of course, sir. I shall randomly select the next individual. Please do enjoy the rest of your evening. Oh, that's a close one. So many cameras, too. I don't like this. Well, let's go and see my inside. It's been quite a while. Let's get going. Fuck you! Hey, you darn kids, get down in there! That's not, that's not supposed to be playing up there. 
You're gonna hurt yourself. Exactly. Eh, eh, shut it, old man. I'm making that of myself. No, you can't. You're damn. You're damn. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go over what happened, see what my friends are doing. Okay. Okay, have fun in the room. And my coffee and bakery's blocked off. I can't get my donut. Or my cappuccino. They would have known, they would have known as a small bit of money being dropped. It makes it somewhat, it happens all the time. Yeah, you're right, we'll do that later. I expect to order some But my oh, legs actually hurt so dialogue. much. Sorry, mate. Last, oh, last war. That song's changed. He <laughs> 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 <You> escaped. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like old man McGee well, has breached containment. Now. He's dead. Well, Stop. that was sad. He will not be oh, missed. The last time I see my melon shop sodas. Eh, we may see yes, them again. Yes, it is. But wait, there's <coughs> more. If you buy, if you talk to me now, you can buy five melon shark sodas for the price of twenty. Yay! What free stickers for two hundred dollars. This is how I got nah, the free nah, details see, on it's my five. Phone. No, see, you're buying my twenty friend, for the. The story <laughs> must continue. Uh huh. <laughs> the great outdoors. Yeah. Neon lights on buildings, black as midnight. So many words that don't mean nothing. So much noise for the mind. Can't even hear your own thoughts. No wonder people are going crazy these days. Don't even know who they are no more. This is the street in question. My insider should be waiting across the way. But I see a couple people roaming down there. I don't want to draw any attention to myself. Travelers, listen carefully. At this point in the story, you have a quest to complete. The rules are as follows. Your ultimate destination is across the street in the back left corner of the map near a roller door. I will be waiting there for you. But on your way, you must count cans of melon shock scattered around the city streets. Make sure you count them. For you may be asked for your count at the end, and the number of cans can change from tour to tour. Once you're done counting, please come to the aforementioned rendezvous point. Additionally, there are people roaming around here that the agent does not wish to be disturbed by. They may be policemen, security officers, military personnel, or simple <coughs> nosy citizens. They will have a flashlight. Regardless, if you see them, try not to act suspicious. Act natural. If you are approached by these figures, you may be questioned. At this point, you must try and talk your way out of trouble. If you see a friend struggling to talk their way out of trouble, please help them. If you fail to convince the NPCs, you will be issued a verbal warning. Before going anywhere, please make sure you have the avatars of today's NPCs, Pimonic Pop123 and Rendizo fully enabled. NPCs, please come and stand before me. Huh? That 
not before him. That's now, NPC, please take your positions. What? Everyone I'm confused. else, you'll be left unattended for a couple of minutes as all of us will be guy. busy. I trust you to do the following. Once these orange barriers are down, and only once the orange barriers are down, you may begin your exploration counting quest. You will have ten minutes to complete this task, starting from the moment the barriers are lowered. Until that point in time, please dis discuss the results of the latest sports game. Hello. What are we supposed to do? I'm hey, confused. Not my yummy loss. We're supposed to count the freaking cans. You know this. What the Since last time. Miami. Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't here last time. Yeah, but my dad's here. No, I wasn't. This is my first time being here. Uh, <laughs> in this story. In this story, this is my first time. From here. But there's like little green cans on the ground. Um. Well, come with me. Goodness. Everybody just saw that. I guess it's uh. I need to go. Low poly disease patient. Suspicious one, you're following me. What are you doing? Stopped. No. Oh, oh hey there. Jesus. Hell. Well, anyways, y'all, did you get anywhere to come with me? Gather round, children, and I shall tell you some things that you probably don't know. Because I've been around longer than most of the people here. Oh. And that's. Oh, oh god, I feel like Lightning McQueen in Cars 3. <laughs> How so? Um, I'm, I'm like one of the only. I'm one of the, the only veterans. Like, oh, like older veterans that's still here. I mean, like, like, like OG veterans from like season one. Yeah. <sighs> Almost. I mean, like, you, you, were so you there since season, season one? Or were you currently? It's a lot of cans. I mean, like, season. I don't know. Like, season two happened, so. I think I didn't. Yeah, we're kind of waiting for. We're kind of waiting for there season three, more. I guess. I don't know. Ah. Oh. So we're um, one of. Ah, uh, so most of us are season threes. Season two. Oh, five. Well, 2.5, I would say? Because, like, season two's already ended, so, like, we're, we're, we're like, in, uh, this is downtime, I guess, I'd say. Downtime until we get enough, until they get most of the, uh, season three tours ready. Yeah, so yeah. Hey, season three, what? like, what? I don't know how it is. Hey, things once are all the other tours are ready, we can probably get more people. Uh, a wall, so, you know, well, maybe, I guess? I don't know. Most likely. I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of the vets are waiting for the painter 2 to come back. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Many of the vets are probably just letting the, um, uh, 
I'm probably just letting them uh, be like newbies, actually get it, get a taste of what's gonna be yeah. happening next. We've, also, we've also we've already seen these tours mm -hmm. so, several so times. Sad. Yeah. I counted you eleven the melon so shot times pants. before you kind of get sick. Of it. I counted thirteen. Mm -hmm. oh, I only counted ten. I counted sixteen. It's been a while since it's I seen these. What about the ones over there? Okay. You can't yeah. oh, one. I will admit, it's been a while. Uh, Fourteen. I'm pretty seen, sure uh, I didn't double count. Early, early circle. I think you did because I, I think yeah, the maximum so is here, ten. Finally. And. I counted ten. No, 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 no. I, I definitely got more than there, ten. I got there seventeen. There has to be more than ten. Yeah. Even if I double counted a couple, but way more than ten. I'm not sure. I'm sure I didn't. Or 10 or 13 I like there could be more. I'm pretty sure. Like I'm fairly confident that the fourteen I counted were unique. Seems to be cold. I'm pretty sure it's like because there's a few of them that are like really close together. Yeah. 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 No, 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 no. <laughs> no, I was just looking at the soup. Mm. Yes, soup. Next time my computer crashes, I'm blowing up a government building. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, we need just to like for all the beef well, 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 I get we some Alman on the bowl half plate. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> and I want ankles on the quarter plate. Oh, okay, oh. okay. No, <laughs> Yeah. The special yeah, element soup mixed with no, many no, types uh, of ingredients. Gingerbread okay, you want men, uh, one of them. Hey, what happened? What happened to Sheen? Did he quit? I like oh, the man. Thank you for watching. Sheen said earlier he did bring stay the night here. Is it because it has something or it's because it's. Oh, there he is. Alright, I'm gonna do this. Oh, you're talking about Trajan. Wait a minute. I'm confusing you. Oh, yeah, it's Trajan. Okay, alright. How are you with me? I was about to say, I okay, well, you get BR. Okay, alright. Ah. Who wants no, to I don't want to. It's just me. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Does anyone it's want like to my see? mind is all fuzzy. I'm usually no drunk one? at these events who are high as hell. Some, yeah, yeah, some no, thank you. I wish yeah, I was a fucking robot. I ain't eating metal. It's just a different experience. But this guy is too bad. I'm a I'm I'm wearing armor. Maybe I should try this. Maybe I should try the opposite. Maybe I should try the opposite. Maybe I should try the opposite. Let's go drunk. Tastes like copper. Probably weigh about two years or so. Psychology. Copper. I don't know. Psychology. Semen demon on my back. Maybe there's lots of copper wiring in there. I don't know. 
Yeah, come back, on, come back. Hurting. You're my fighter thing. Look, I'm assuming being I'm just going to just, uh... <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, I'm assuming being... I'm assuming being... That was my chair, Grandpa. Why did you crash your computer? I can't believe you did that to me. Yeah, have some seat, have some seat. No, I didn't, I didn't. This avatar only has 46 materials. Yeah, no, actually, my computer just black screens in VR for some reason. Uh, it my friend, last year, your attention, please. Um, we are all here. Your quest has ended. Yay. NPCs. Ah, just Pimon Pop 123. How many warnings did you issue? I didn't miss you any warnings, there was just some some lovely people that dropped their contact lenses. Hope you found them. Zero warnings and lovely people. We must have our timelines mixed up. Very well, my friends, the story continues. Yeah. <sighs> Man, I lost track out of my track when you I mean, oh, ugh, no, I lost track of my count like three there he times. Is. Just standing there in the dark, looking paranoid as ever. Quite the bag he's carrying, too. I bet he's got some fun toys in there for me. Oh, man, you're so bright out here. I think I'm getting a sunburn. Hmm, all right. Seems like he's mad at me. Time to see if these cans will make a good enough peace offering. Card kill man 935, how many cans did you count? 13. Arohek, how many cans did you count? You turning round. <laughs> Arohek. Oh, yeah, me, me, me. Okay, uh, 16, man. <laughs> I didn't count them right, did I? Stop. How many cans did you count? 17. Sorry. I'll be honest, I just hit all the buttons today and just to see what would happen, so I have no clue how many cans are meant to be. <laughs> I wow! No. I counted eight! Hello. I also counted thirteen. That. I counted twelve, actually. <laughs> I, I counted know, plenty. I counted ten. Like there were plenty. I only counted there were ten. Plenty of cans. cans. Plenty of cans. Ah, There's like all the cans. Right. Goodness. Oh well, yeah. Yeah, the cans. <sighs> there were plenty of them. I said only did you count it? Did you hey, count it uh, I found you some more trinkets. I've got X melon cans for you. Huh, X cans, you say? You know just what to do to lift me mood, don't you? Mate, you ever feel like someone has hijacked your ghost? and is using you to send a secret message to someone but it comes in the form of gibberish that you gotta decode because if you don't then this entire timeline becomes compromised and the anomaly will get this way and you'll get even stronger and continue violating the laws of the realms causing all other timelines and other entire realms to face the threat of our destruction all at the expense of one's twisted sense of self-righteousness sure. no? <laughs> me neither anyway Nice coat. Was there much trouble getting here? <laughs> nah, not really. So, about before, I... You want to hear a riddle? A riddle? What the hell are you talking about? I don't know, it came to me just now. Listen. Well. A touch awakens it sinlessly. Rays giving energy to populated skyways. 
Ask ten slaves about our vertex magnet empathy. Um, I don't know what you're talking about. Or do I? There's a secret encoded a message in there. I think it says, please help me, or something among those lines. Uh, it's an N letter... N letter code, yada yada yada, etc, etc, etc. Yeah, it's something yeah. where there's four the different numbers. What, what, the what the spider said. It's an nth level, it's an nth, le it's an nth letter code. My friend. Mm -hmm. Three, like five, seven... The travelers seven, speak seven. the truth. Yeah. One of the numbers in this tour, 7643, if you take these intervals and apply it to the riddle we just heard, the seventh letter, the sixth letter, the fourth letter, the third letter, and repeating, it will reveal a message, which reads, He is lying, please save me. Lying. Say who? How did I know that message was in there? Agent. Agent, can you hear me? There's a voice in my mind. Who are you? Time is short. I've been trying to contact you across timelines. Finally, my message has reached your consciousness with the help of supernarrative observers. Now, listen well. Do not trust your insider, not because of who he was, but because of who he is. He has been compromised in ways that are beyond even his comprehension. But he is not your enemy, and neither is the director your enemy. No, your enemy is the one who has trapped me here. Our enemy is the anomaly. Abandon your selfish quest, agent. Tell your insider that you have reconsidered, that you are leaving this place, that he can go home. Thereafter, I have great need of you. The anomaly has used you to do his bidding. The director was in the way of his plan, and you taking the director's life serves him far more than it does you. You were his pawn, his agent. Wait, wait. That's... This is a lot to take in. You're telling me I have to choose between pursuing the director, getting vengeance, or telling my insider that I changed my mind about the whole thing and doing what you say? That's right. Please, choose now. Oh, man. What do I do? Follow the strange voice in your head. It, the strange voice in your head knows what's best for you. The strange voice in your head. The voices! Listen to the voices. The voices! Okay, that one's pretty fucking funny, actually. All right, all right, all right. I guess you're gonna follow the voice, which means. I've got to break this news to my friend. Hey, look. 
There's no easy way to say this. I appreciate everything you've done so far. But I've been thinking. I don't think this is what I need to do right now. Wait. Wait, so you, you're just giving up on, on the whole thing? Just change your mind? Yeah, um, I think it might be best for me to go and just try and try and leave all this behind me. doesn't bother me either way. Looks like I just came out all the way here for nothing, hey? Hey, look. Don't, don't be like that. I just think that this right here is my best chance to start over. They took my life from me, but I can't make a new one if I'm only focusing on what I've lost. I gotta move on. No, no, it's fine. I get it. I guess. I guess this is it. I'll never see you again, right? That's right. Right, well, like we agreed, we, we never met. I know. We never met. And he turns and walks away into the dark. I didn't feel good. But I'm trusting my instinct on this one. Oh, Agent, listen carefully. Time is short, but I do owe you something of an explanation. I am a higher being of this realm, and my power is great. But the Anomaly's power is different to my own, and his technology has trapped me. I descended in a weakened state, poisoned right before descent. A cruel and controlled series of events conspiring against me, all leading to my ending up here. And you have seen my fate, Agent. You have seen my power. You have seen him infuse his bronze machination with my energy. In many timelines, this has already happened, but we can restore balance by creating more timelines where I have been freed. You can restore this balance. My message has only reached you because you are not alone. Listen to your instincts, Agent. Allow them to guide you to me. We all share an enemy, this anomaly who is going to so much effort to try to defy the very structure of the realms. Please, come and release me from this prison, this slave generator, or he will use my power to further fuel his terrible machine, which can travel across instances. Once free, I will seek out the source of the anomaly and attack him there. This is our best chance at stopping him. I'm going to be honest. I, I don't know what to make of all this. Part of me believes you. Part of me realizes that either I've gone crazy or this is as real as real gets. And that this anomaly really is some sort of interdimensional threat. 
but another part of me. I just send away the closest thing I've ever had to a friend. And I'm giving up on the only purpose I've felt in a long time. I know. I understand. I do. If nothing else will convince you, think on this. Think about the memories that you glimpse while you dream. Think about the woman you held, the child who called you their father. Think about the days when the skies were clear and you could feel the warmth of the sun. These memories are yours, but they are also not you, Agent are a reincarnation. Your role, your destiny is predetermined. But your fate is not. You can still choose your path, a purpose greater than yourself. You built your life around being an agent. And now, that pillar is crumbling. It's time to build a new pillar. What am I going to do to free you, I mean? What do I do next? Head west of here. There is a section of the district in lockdown. This is because the anomaly is having my prison guarded within which I was only recently trapped. Soon, he will have had my power transferred to his laboratory. This area will be very dangerous, and you must be at your peak. Find my prison and release me from it. Then, and only then, shall I do as promised. Head west, make my way through guards, find the prison, free you. Got it. Well, stranger, we'll be staying here in my mind. I'm afraid not. Establishing this link was risky enough, and remaining here will be a distraction drawing energy from your subconscious mind to maintain it. I will either see you soon, or I will see you in another time. My friends, travelers, this was the first and possibly the last tour to spread across more than one VRChat world. We are traveling to a new map to access this extra branch to the story. Yay! It is of utmost importance that. that once on this new map, nobody collects anything on this new map, and as usual remains with me at all times. I will reiterate this when we load in, as it is very important. Now, my friends, those in front of me, kindly step aside, and I will drop a portal Candy for, for this everyone. instance. Candy for Ooh, everyone! Uh, which side did front of you? Candy for everyone! Oh, hell yeah! Which, which side is oh, yeah. I don't even know what way you're facing! Candy. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get away from me! That the test rack closes in on. Oh, okay, okay, I gotcha. And please, please wait for me at the spawn area on the other side.
the sewers. Haha, <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> I got it. Not from a uh, roleplay mission, <laughs> and I guess also <laughs> wait. Well, this was made by a health store. Yeah. Yeah. It reminds me of uh, yeah, that one nice Black power. Ops, Black Ops One mission. You know. I shall catch this egg. The only gotcha. way I know how. The, the egg does not even just work. Yeah. Okay. The music is high. The music is high. <laughs> are you re-downloading uh, the, egg the thingy yet? Yeah. Yeah. You are not hey, worthy. Hey. We candy! Candy. Okay, Seth, I actually have the command prompt. Candy! Yeah, you can, you can re-download the app. So you already candy! installed it and you're uh, reinstalling it as new, candy! right? Yeah. Oh, that should be funny again. And what? you can install it. Funny again. Yeah, this song. Well, well it's the thing that happens in some worlds with oh, your avatar yeah, yeah. hair. Because it's gonna like be in some worlds. What do you mean the blue glow thing? It, it should. It should probably. Fix oh, it's some white right issues. now instead of blue. Oh, it's a oh, miracle. Okay, hold on. Give me a second. Give me a second. I'm and the Let's see. Holy. How uh, does it look? Look inside with, the, uh, uh, this uh, avatar of the headset <laughs> and see if all the what, pins what's are, uh, what? all uh, You know his <laughs> white <laughs> triangles. <laughs> no, no, it's only particular people who see it. It's only I, congratulations. So, <laughs> yeah. So like through the edge of your like <laughs> shader, I, I can usually see it, but like it, it's not. Yeah. Well, you're not the base. The Normally, I, I don't. Okay. I'm making you regret getting your polygons back. Oh, okay, I see how it is. Okay. Okay. According to the order of the order three smickening the ladies cut and all, I will send okay. it to you to death. So, fuck you. Right, <laughs> by the looks of it, he's already gone ahead and fuck activated you. something. Yeah. Ah, my finger. Ah, I think it has my yeah. nose to bleed with those polygons. <laughs> oh. Eh. You know what? Right, Square up. I might Square have... up. Actually, yeah. I might have a card that actually might fix you up a bit. Going hey, after him just caused more problems. Just one People are starting oh, yeah. falling in the line. My friends, gather around and listen carefully. Please take a moment to readjust your volume. This music is fitting for the secret climax path of this tour. But it is louder than the other world, so please make sure you can still hear me clearly. Additionally, as I stated earlier, please make sure that you make every effort to remain with me, including not going ahead of me. This world has invisible triggers on the map. Oh. Trigger up you. I'm excited That's to see this. I'm not going to name any names, Cod Killman935, but please make sure you make every effort to stay with the tour group at all times. I'll remember. If I can remember. <laughs> Hold my hand, Grandpa. I don't no. want no trouble. My friends. It's fucking stupid. The story. It's stuck in my. Continues. I. <clears throat> Alright, here we are. Tensei District 54B. Getting through that first barrier is easy enough, but something tells me this is where Easy Street ends. I gotta find the cage where he's being trapped. I've gotta free it. I've gotta save it. Am I... Am I saving the world? No time for that. Gotta get moving. I'm gonna try that passage with the green lights first. Let's just get a taste of what's around. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh boy. I haven't been here in a million years. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. First time being here. This is Don't box in the head. You are oh, seeing yeah. it. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, 
that's a full mech. We ain't getting past it's that without slug. firepower. Oh my! Looks fudge nuggets. Oh, oh that was oh, a close yeah. one. They've got Kenbishi tanks stationed down here. This is risky. You can normally just got the military helping him. And those tanks are too tough for me to take on directly. I gotta find another way around. Stay alert for more of these things or I'm gonna end up being torn to shreds. Please do not Get step backwards, Psycho Man. <laughs> it is global. Pass go. Okay. Ah. Please do be careful. Roger that. Oh, what? Come, until Genethew, you come. I finally loaded in. As well as, uh. Hey, that's the part where the alarms are shaking. You smell like lavender because you're purpley. <laughs> or is it lilac? In the biggest part. Basically, those can get stuck on, and it, it's it's a bad time for everyone. And that's why we're careful with it. That's all. Ah, makes oh, sense. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think the car alarm would go off if I stuck this into the hood? I can see something. There's another think tank ahead. But I see something else that might be useful. There's a pair of armed soldiers nearby with a crate behind them. Protective armor, helmets, automatic weapons. But I see a flare gun on top of the crate, which I might be able to grab. That is, if I can th think of a way to get close enough. Right now, they're too alert for me to just sneak up from the side, and I can't attack these guys head on. Maybe I can make a distraction. Or I could always turn back, too. What should I do? Distraction! Okay. Uh, Give me up for a distraction badge. plan, right? Your we, give El we, we set Elvin in front of the tank. <laughs> Uh, don't you fuck you, sir! I know what you're about to do! Stop! <laughs> okay. Right okay. You're not using me okay. in any way that involves we... pain and suffering on my end! Okay, okay, fine, fine. Let's We can this pretend we to no, no, no. be someone to then grab no, the flag up. Yeah, sure, why not? I think we can. Uh, I think right. Delta can handle it better than me. What do y'all think? You got this, Delta! I think. I think like what? Sorry, are we just get? To, are we sacrificing Delta, or are we just yeah. going to do the whole thing? Well, it's always too drunk for anything. I mean, the 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 yeah. yeah, I think I uh, see if we can grab the flag gun. No, no bullet would hit through. <laughs> send in someone with fast reactions and a <laughs> Why the Katana? These are military personnel. Then <laughs> certainly they'd be uh, scared of an admiral. Oh, I do have my oh yeah, I think they'd be a uh, Or a general or something like that. that. Yeah, I'm pretty oh, sure that's a good way to do some of that, so... The yeah, Encephalon <laughs> has observed your choices. However, it will not allow any deviations from the mimetic recordings. Good. Which means... The optimal solution is impersonation. All right, the authority approach might work. I take a moment to tidy myself up and stroll up all confident, like I own the place. They turn to me, weapons ready, but I see their hesitation. So this whole area is in lockdown. Return to your home immediately. Hey, you've got the wrong guy. I'm here to check your equipment. Make sure it's all by the books. I won't be a minute. A compliance officer? We weren't expecting anyone. There was a notice that went out regarding waffle flare guns. They're in recall. Do you have any idea how dangerous those things are if they malfunction? Just saw a guy yesterday who blew half the flesh off his buddy's face. 
was not a pretty sight. I flashed my senator's ID not long enough for him to read it. I see you've got one right there. I'll just take it off your hands and I'll be going. The ID, the fast talk, the scary story. Seems like they might be biting. All right, just take it and go, sir. Thank you. Got the flare gun, and I am out of here. Hey, old man, think fast. Yay! You forgot one. You forgot one flare right, gun. You know what? We're passing by this car, so yeah, make sure you let's down. Uh, do not. Now that's my car. No. Don't you dare, you son of a. You run it. Look, El. If you're gonna be impersonate someone, you gotta be thorough with your job. If not, they will find out who you really are. Man, there would have been a really cool helicopter segment here. <laughs> Uh. Sorry, can't. Helicopter was down today. Uh, 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 uh maintenance. The, uh, the, the Jesus nut. The Jesus no. order, whatever they call it. Oh, what's in there? You ever hear a helicopter pilot talk on the radio? It sounds like this. Uh. <laughs> 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 It's not the same. <laughs> do they sound a small word of advice, friends, please do not approach these no entry barriers. They may propel you through to the other side and you'll be stuck there. Roger that. Oh, careful. There's a guy down here snooping around. But this one ain't a soldier or civilian. But he is geared up. Hmm. Merc, maybe? Looks like he's focusing on something on the other side of this barrier. I don't know if he's a friend or a foe, but I do see that plasma rifle he's got on him. Distractions won't work. He's in a dead end. But I do have a flare gun, and I can always turn around if I don't think I'm prepared for this. What should I do? Oh, I think Ooh. I saw a cat back that way. Stun baton. No, no, it's like you were pinching him. Yeah, no, no, it's you, you approach him out and you and say, take the gun. "Man, you approach him Are and say, you going to knock him up before he sees us and shoots us." <laughs> and then he's going to ask yes, us about a cat, and then we're going to say, "Oh yeah, we. Yeah, I think I saw a great one down the road." So we just stealthily walk up. Knock him no, out. No, you just you just come up to him and be like, "Yo, mate, you exactly. appear to be lost." You can just ask him about his car that's sent in a warranty. Stun baton and stun baton and stun but... baton. We don't have that on our person, you idiot. That's later. Yeah. Okay. Attention, we have a flare please. Gun, right? This point in the story has an interesting history. The way this encounter was solved was not the anticipated sequence of events, which means you've skipped a step. The step what? that reveals the one lone item on this tour that has never been discovered. Ooh. I am Great going song. to have to force you down this path to prevent this lone item from being lost to history. However, in doing so, we must take a suboptimal approach, and the agent will sustain damage. <coughs> the choice that we're going to do here is to sneak up on him. And so, sneak we shall. Oh. 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 Come on, Elman. So, use your Skyrim uh, wow. training. So wait, does that mean we just use like a like big brain on the Just keep going. This video story must continue. Oh, yes, I'm so proud. Hmm. The sneaky approach might work. 
I ready myself, stay low, watch my foot and plot my round. I get fifteen steps away, ten steps, five steps. He hasn't moved, he's just staring through the barrier. I'm close enough now to make contact. I can see. He's got a melee weapon on his belt, and I can see some sort of electronic device on his wrist. Maybe I can just... He turns suddenly a blur and connects. Oh, he's quick. He's good. I reach for the weapon. He pivots and drives the butt of his rifle down on my head. Slag! I stagger away, create distance. He does not chase. Just stares me down. Oh. I get the picture. I can't take him down as I am by force. Oh, man. I think he broke something. I am out of here. No plasma rifle for me. Yeah! Wait. Uh, um, I like the plasma uh, rifle. I mean, you can beat this yeah. with all the plasma rifles. Apparently. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, presumably, okay. yes. Right. Uh, As I don't think we even use it during the fight anyway. That's actually a good point. That was a good point. Right. Using the revolver from My friends, the be careful. This barrier is particularly infamous for sucking people through. Oh, jeez. Sorry, dude. How, How about you going, Elf? No, no idea. No, I can hear the think tank over there. Oh, yeah, man, when your man. Your think skull no, can block all the bullets. Yay, yeah, yeah, pack over. Well, why did he sit somebody on your boom joining boom? into the ceiling? Well, no, nah, come on. You got a no thick layer under your helmet. <coughs> oh, let's so see. Hmm. Yeah. I already know this might come up in the conversation. No. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Where's that shooting coming from? Where? Heroic. Hey, oi, oi, oi. Don't worry, my cousin got. I'm just reinstalling my Oculus. Please give us a moment to fetch whoever that is and bring them to the group. One moment, please. Well, right. we can say one thing. It ain't COD. Hmm. Old man's learning yeah, some tricks. True. Why do they call it COD if there's no fishing involved? That is true. Yeah, well, it's currently installing right now. You're a COD! That is... Oh, Maybe that is, there's no fishing, waiting. but there is plenty of camping. Indeed. My friends, the story continues. <laughs> uh, hey, you a soldier? There's a guy here slumped against the wall. Looks civilian. Looks injured, too. Shot in the leg. Who's asking? Well... Look, can you give me a hand here? I just took a bullet on my way home. My wife and kids are waiting for me. Took a bullet? Doing what, exactly? I was, uh... There's a curfew. Just caught... Just got caught up in it. I didn't know, look. Help a brother out, yeah? Please. Man, I'm begging you. You know what this curfew is for, exactly? I got no idea. We got the sense that they've been preparing for a few days now for something, but now nobody can't go nowhere. Everything's in lockdown. Hmm. I get the feeling this fella is not telling me full truths. I see a weapon on his belt. It's one of those shock batons that leadheads like to use. A solid weapon. Not something that should be in the hands of a civilian. There's something not quite right about this guy. Where are you trying to get to? 
Can you just help me get to the pub right across the street? It's real close. I just don't want to get seen by more soldiers. Hmm. Well, I see a few unique opportunities here. I would really like to add that shock baton to my arsenal. What should I do? Knock the guy out. Beat him up. Hey, that's my plan. Uh, I'll help him across the street. Pistol no, hold on. Uh, wait, wait, wait. wait. Him knife him, knife him. Spit in his face. Ah. Why all of you fall to violence? Use your flash thing! I mean, what kind of weapon do you want? Boxhead. How about we help a brother out? Please, oh, kiss him! No, you fuck him! <laughs> yeah, hey, but don't make me break don't those glasses. Gangplank, no gangplank. I have yeah. many pairs. Fight them! Kill them! Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna burn through them quickly. You won't trust me. Oh, you got the, you got the void go These I legs beg to differ. <laughs> Those don't impress me. Okay, shit. I thought my phone <laughs> kind of was on again. Mm, no, I didn't care anymore. <laughs> that felt like a pinch. Give me so right, he's getting I some hands. Indeed. Well, let me think here. <laughs> I didn't turn on the boosters yet. What is the plan, uh, uh, the plan my right? fellow peepholes? I love her little yep. pendiment that she has uh, on her Knife him. I just love it. Uh, no, disregard his advice. Back and yeah. well, we got the thing the from the cat. Yeah, so the the encephalon has observed your choices. No. However, it will not allow any deviations from the mimetic recordings. No. Thus, See? our choice is to use the secret signal and act like one of these rebels. And the story continues. <coughs> Act like someone you knows. Convince him you need the baton to help with their cause. That could work. Looks like you're in a bit of trouble. And I give him a quick salute. One with my index finger tucked in. He does a double take and sits up straight. Thank heavens. You had me worry there for a moment. Alright, then you know where the bar is then, don't you? Let's go. He reaches up for my help, but I don't help him. Not yet. First, I gotta ask something of you. I'm on a mission to end this lockdown, and I'm gonna need your help. Specifically, that weapon you've got on your belt. Also, we are seen by soldiers. Better they see it on me, and go for me, instead of you again. I hold down my hand, expecting. He tilts his head one way, then the other, then shrugs. All right, fair enough. Take it off me hands, brother. Ain't giving me nothing but trouble anyways. I take the shock baton help him to his feet and carefully guide him outside. Item get. Shock baton, shock baton, shock baton, and shock baton. Lava yeah, baton. hell yeah, yeah shock, baton. shock baton. I don't think so. Blunt. No, but you got three more shock batons Ooh, than the first one. Sure. True. Yeah. Finally the bar. I mean, I think it'd be pretty shocking okay. if somebody tried to use the same weapon on me when they have Please, a whole arsenal. Please, reverse alcohol! Coming up! Oh, hell yeah! No! No reverse alcohol on the tour! It's dangerous to do it on the tour! Oh, no. Shut it, oh. Tin Can! Born alcohol! Fine. Oxygen suit. Reverse alcohol? That sounds boring as all hell. <laughs> 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 I'm surprised there are people of Sierra Hill at this pub during the lockdown. I guess they got stuck here. There's something <sighs> different about this group of people. Something's off. Yeah, this is the one. Thanks, brother. I won't forget this. Look, you're one of us, right? 
Let me introduce someone to you. Sure thing. Who is it? It's me own brother. Another guy at the bar is coming over. Seems much less disheveled than this fella. Brother, I got caught in a bit of crossfire. But this guy, this guy got me to safety. Happy to see you here in one piece, brother. Good to see you too. Hey, this guy who just helped me, he seems pretty capable. I think he could be an ally. Oh, and how's that? He's moving around like you don't care about no lockdown. Hey, thanks for helping me brother out. Good to meet you. Likewise. So I take it you're both rebels of some kind trying to fight against whatever's going on. You know, don't you? You know what's going on. Yeah, I can tell by the look in your eye. But look, I ain't forcing you to tell me. But we can work together. I'm a pilot, and I've got access to a military chopper, loaded with rockets. We haven't heard from our leader in a while, but those tanks outside are destroying our homes. They're killing people. We gotta stop them. What do we have to do? You should know. What's the best target? Well, I'm looking for it now. Well, you'll be able to take to the air in half an hour. I've got a flare gun. I can signal you when I find it and we can put a stop to all this. You've got yourself a deal. Half an hour. Well, that was unexpected, but an ally is an ally. Let's just hope he's vigilant. I gotta keep moving. This way. Stupid radio is not working. Come on, Al. Get those rusted legs up. Rusted, yeah, rusted. legs? What the? And again, the radio. I am a carbon. Someone fix the radio. He's wearing armor here. So then again, Man. Then again I guess imagine the armor being here. made out of carbon. Hmm. Couldn't be what do you me. What do you think I mean? Where no, the rust is going to come from? Carbonated? Oh, You're oh, a panda. Oh, 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 imagine imagine oh, being a carbon-based life form. Cringe. I know, right? Imagine being something and not something. Imagine something. Oh, this is what happens when your body is made of carbon. Whoa! <laughs> exactly. Wait, 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 How it feels this is my to PC five game. Five gum. More like six gum. Ah, I finally <laughs> discovered a mythical. This is what, uh, this is my PC game. This is my PC setup right here. You can see it's working <laughs> fine. Five gum? No, it looks yeah. like there's more than four in the, uh, more than five in the box. How does it feel yeah. to five gum? Mm, gum gum. It looks like it. That's God's well, computers. There was another tank my walking the street outside, so I'm gonna take shelter in here, following all this. Noise and the flashing lights. <coughs> and what is this? Some sort of machine, portable reactor. It looks like a fight happened here. Loose wires, sparks, trash scattered about. And there's a. Stop! Don't move! Or I shoot! Ah, who's it now? There's a guy over there in a bloody lab coat. Pointing a revolver at me. Looks terrified. And he's not alone. There are two others, but they're on the ground, not moving. One with a lap coat, one with that. The hell happened here? This area is off limits. Leave now, or I'll shoot. Hmm. Doesn't exactly. Look like he knows what he's doing with that firearm, but that could make him more dangerous. How should I approach this situation? Mm. Is the gang symbol on him? Gang of Always shoot his I've ass. Always... I've always wanted to yeah, use the gun symbol on use him. Use Elman as a barrier and charge him. Mm. 
Because that's what he deserves. Um, we do a sick dance. That's what we do. We do a sick dance. We the encephalon for help. Hear me out, right? Man. Well, no, we'll use I, I'm, 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 I'm along for the ride right here. <laughs> uh, well, actually, Elman yeah. is a good battering ram. Look how hard his head is. I know, right? Yeah. Yeah. Using the plasma rifle, you say. Well, we as the, the encephalon wills it, so it shall be. We can get the plasma rifle. <laughs> a plasma rifle well, shaped I like Elman. Him with this here plasma rifle. Get him to stand down. Might work. You don't want to be pointing that thing at me. I raise my rifle at him. His eyes go wide. Now, just put down the revolver carefully and back away. He just stares at me. I hear his ragged breathing and his shuffling feet. What is that look in his eye? What is he thinking? Usually I can tell, I can read him, but this guy? No clue. Then his look changes. He throws a gun at me and breaks into a sprint. I move in, sweep up the gun, but he's running the wrong way. Wait, don't go! I hear the think tank's guns go off. Silence. I don't know who that guy was, but I don't think he was meant to be here. I checked the weapon. Two rounds and... Well, this is not what I expected. Where did he get high-velocity rounds from? Maybe this guy was up to no good. Either way, I've got a couple of very powerful bullets on me. Better save this for a rainy day. Let's take a closer look at this reactor. Huh. This thing is a hazard. Judging by the vigilante I just met, it's probably got something to do with this lockdown. I don't think it's safe to just... Oh, that's oh. better. Gotta keep moving. That's... Uh, turn off my gaming PC. What the hell, man? <laughs> For oh, man. Sorry, man. Not a gaming oh, they turned off the gaming PC. Where we action. normally got the... What's it say? Gaming mainframe. That is the gaming mainframe. Oh, that was kind of crazy. That thing can handle gigabytes. Uh, my PC. Because I need me. I remember this being here. There's a wide open area, but nothing interesting happens here. Oh, this is your car. Oh, this is a car. I wonder. Oh, shit, it has a bullet mm. hole in it. What did you do to it? Why? I shot okay, it. Okay, you're like, right, tell me. Oh, okay, man, stop you? fucking with the local yeah. wildlife. I'm gonna grab a drink. Okay, <laughs> yo, Pat. Do not fuck with the local wildlife. Uh... Hey, so hey, what was it? what did we get from the guy fighters. where we normally get the Come plasma on. rifle? Apparently we got no, something. To it, so My friends, yeah, he said we got something. Something. please just gather just around. Insane, the story go. must continue. My yeah, friends, please things. gather around. The rumble of conflict fades away. Rain begins to fall heavy. The street is quiet. Too quiet. I feel something. I feel the hairs on my arms stand on end. Something is coming fast. 
Movement on a rooftop, a shadow, a figure leaps. Moves through the air silently. Gracefully. And lands with a crash of mud and dust. It stands in my path and looks at me. It looks human. Military armor, helmet, visor. Quite the arsenal of weaponry. But there's no way in hell an ordinary man can make that land in. I felt the weight of it. I can tell. He's made of steel. And he looks at me, this android commander. And I can tell just by the way he's standing there. He knows what I'm trying to do. He knows I'm on a mission. And he's going to try and stop me. This is it. Do or die. My weapons, shock baton, plasma rifle, flare gun, and a revolver with two high-velocity rounds. The android commander draws the weapon first, a laser blaster, and points it at me, still some distance away. I only have a moment to react. Which weapon do I use? Ooh. A sick Ooh. mixtape. Ah, oh, I want to dance. Him. Treat him first. Ooh, high velocity round. Flare yes. gun. Yeah. Blind him! Uh, uh, there's a revolver, or you can use the plasma gun. Blind! Now the plasma gun takes, takes time to spool up, and he's already spooled. If I remember correctly, I, I think... Yeah, I think the thing was we were... It was revolver, revolver... Shot baton, flare gun, if I remember correctly. Shot baton, shot baton. Man, I've never used the plasma gun. No, Real travelers we... choose a shock baton every round. All right, we gotta make a choice. Let's ah. see here. <laughs> I drink my beer. I don't have mouse men to help me. Don't call on me no more. Dusty Kushami. Shock baton, yeah. flare gun, plasma rifle, or revolver. Say plasma rifle. Someone to again. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, you're right. It is wrong. Rifle. Oh, oh, I, have I have lived this tour. This, I'm pretty sure this tour was the longest I pull out tour the I've rifle, spent But I don't have time to use the sun. I fire from the hip and hit his gun, which catches fire. He throws it to the ground, uncaring. My weapon is out of charges. I gotta reload the rifle now, and he is pissed. The android commander pulls something off his belt, and he chucks it in the air toward me. Some sort of grenade? I, I can't tell. There's no time to study it. Which weapon do I use in reaction? Shock baton, flare gun, or revolver? Plasma rifle is recharging. Throw your shoe at him! Revolver. Revolver. Revolver or Salot. Revolve on. Revolver. 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 We need to make a choice. High evolve rifle. Underscore, underscore, lie. Shock with on, flare gun, or revolver. Say revolver. Uh. <laughs> High evolve rifle. Oh, I choose the revolver, but I really want to kick it. Oh. <laughs> uh... You can imagine kicking it and dying. We're going to choose the revolver. Your pick. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted the revolver? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great! <laughs> Big iron on his head! They did say, kick it, and then kick it. The and bucket, no that is. With my trusty revolver, I take a shot at the grenade. Bingo. I hit it midair, and it goes off in the space between us. There's a flash, and smoke starts pouring out. But I'm not caught in the cloud. I still got eyes on the target. The android commander stares at me through the whispers of cloud, cold and uncaring. He whips.
whips out a saber attached to his arm, and he starts running at me, trying to use what's left of the smoke as cover. What weapon do I react with? Shock baton, plasma rifle, flare gun, or revolver. Shock baton, glorious melee combat. Flare gun, blind. Glorious melee combat. Oh, just I love glorious melee combat. Revolver. Task, huh? Yay. Let's go. You were the one who said you used me as a weapon for most of this tour. Right, you know what? Touche. I vouch for you. Alright, <laughs> let's make a choice. Ether Memento. Yo. What am I gonna use? Say it. Say the magic words. Candy! Okay. Agent, you're going to use the shock baton. <laughs> I thought the magic words were shocking. I ready the baton, <laughs> watching as he comes running at oh, me. I thought you were gonna do something else. <laughs> I can feel his weight coming closer like a truck with steel legs, an unstoppable force. And gets closer, and closer, and leaps toward me. I step back, lean in, and swing hard. The baton strikes a saber, sparks fly, electricity crackles, and I see the shockwave move up the saber, up the android's arm, and across his core. He shudders falters and falls to the ground. This is it. This is my chance. He's stunned. And then my legs spread out. Something changes. Something shifts. A strange red light washes over everything. I look up and I see it. It forces its way through the clouds. Is that the moon? I never seen it before, but, but it don't look right. It is huge and blood red, like a great eye watching from above. And I feel a presence, a familiar presence. I look down at the android commander. I can finish this in one go. What weapon do I use? Revolver! I think the revolver this time. Uh, can we do the? Can we do the revolver? Slap his bitch ass. Flare gun. Flare gun. Wait. He... We've never tried. We've never tried using the revolver again. Yeah, but with him down. Yeah, because we ran out of bullets. We shot the gun out of his hand, and then the like, grenade. We were always out of bullets. We always had the flare gun to him in the head. So let's let's well, see yeah. if we can get out of this uh, unscathed. I, I want to see the guy get the, the unscathed. The left. Oh, you know we're going to get to out unscathed the regardless because of the encephalon. Well, um, we're going to get through regardless, just but love the, the, the thing is, all right, all right, time bar. to make a choice, and this is it. Either it dies or I die, and this last choice will be made by none other than Captain Panda. What weapon do you pick and why is it the flare gun or the revolver? Ooh, I've not seen it done with the revolver. 
The flare gun, the flare gun is nice and warm. It's very cozy and it keeps us warm at night. But I kind of want to see how fast a high velocity bullet goes through its skull or its core or something. I don't know. You know, it sounds excessively violent. I'm down. It's revolving, Oh my god. I'm ready to revolve. And without wasting another moment, I point the end at his eye. Keep this DJ revolves it. I see his eye rotate, looking at what I'm holding there. I see the threat register. And I pull the trigger. There's a huge sound and sparks, and his face opens like a steel flower blossoming. I fall back, my hand badly burned, to assess the damage as fragments of steel rain down around me. The enemy is motionless, his head opened up. I pick myself up, dust myself off. Well, that one is a hell of a fight. Now I gotta find this damn slave generator. Maybe there's a save point up here I can use. Oh, yeah. Save points! We love our save points! Oh, yeah, save point. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. My friends, as a reminder, please click nothing in this area. As a reminder, friends, please click nothing in this area. What did you tell me to click? click the fuse. Don't touch. There's a lot friends, of buttons. Don't touch please them. Please click nothing in this area. Oh, oh shiny red button. Please click nothing in this area. I'm gonna click you. You hear, you hear that, L man? No Travelers, yeah. kindly stand under that? the eaves of the shrine. Face the slave generator, and oh. I appreciate your silence for the ending <laughs> of the agent. Oh, it's purring like a cat. This must be it in the yard of this old shrine. Huh. A slave generator. I can feel something in the air here. Some sort of power. It's making me shake. Seems like the android commander was the last guard, so let's make this quick. I take out the flare gun, point it straight up, and shoot. Everything goes green for a moment as the flare fizzes up into the low clouds. And I wait. Uh. Oh, why? Uh. Nothing happens. Did the pod forget? Or is he looking someplace else? Did he get attacked? I checked the gun. Only one more flare left. Oh, uh, this is it. I point it up. And I pull the trigger. One more time. The flare burns bright and green and crackles into the sky. something. Better take cover. Get to the chopper! Get to the chopper! They're coming for us! Oh shit, it's a missile! Say cheese! Get to the chopper! 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 
did it exactly. Woo! Oh, oh, hold a second. Rock to the face. <laughs> A direct hit. I step out, careful to avoid debris. A slave generator is destroyed. And in its place, a blue line, too bright to look at, emanating so much power it's hard to stay on my feet. Agent, I have been freed. I am no longer a slave to the anomaly, and I have you to thank. This anomaly who seeks your ancestral power has not succeeded in this timeline, but he has succeeded elsewhere. So, I will shift the balance against him. I have located the catalyst of his anomalous behavior, and I will now destroy it. The agent's vision is taken over. A strange feeling washes across his face. Wind. Clean, fresh, warm wind. Green grass. Blue sky. White clouds. All things the agent has only an inkling of a memory of. He looks around and sees a man below, running over the crest of a hill, running toward a city in the middle of a green valley. At one end of the city stands a grand cathedral. The running man skids to a halt and looks up. He looks in the distance toward the horizon. The horizon darkens. Clouds are pushed aside without effort. A shadow, a shape, a form of unbelievable size drifts slowly toward the valley toward the comparably tiny city. You were a malicious entity, a blight on the timeline, and you should not exist. I will not allow you to continue to defy the narratives, and I will destroy you and that which you love most, wherever we shall meet. The structure floats unstoppably toward the city, threatening to obliterate the entire valley. Yes, the agent can feel that this gargantuan structure, this strange machine, has been hijacked by the entity he freed. Is he going to kill everyone in the city? Just for two people? The shadow of the structure creeps across the land, smothering everything below it in cold and darkness as it gets lower and lower, closer and closer. The man on the hill screams, his voice hoarse with terror and rage. His emotions are intense, palpable like a fierce fire burning, unseen to the eye. And then a glint of light from within the city and a small form becomes airborne. A ship. An airship. It's an airship. Minuscule, compelling with the approaching machination, the airship flies fearlessly toward the impending threat. Ah, oh, so she has volunteered to come to me. The lamb faces the lion. So be it. The airship and giant structure draw closer and closer to one another, and they are too far away to tell exactly what happens. But at the moment of collision, there is a sudden ball of light and a sh shockwave which flies out, rippling across the valley, hitting like a wall of thunder when it reaches the man on the hill. On the face of the structure, 
spreading upward and downward, a red vein emerges, a volcanic fissure, and the break slowly divides, splitting the gargantuan structure in two. And the two pieces take different paths, flying in different directions, sparing the city from direct impact. Debris and fire are thrown far and wide as the two halves of the machine crash into the hillsides, digging up entire swaths of earth and sending it flying like sprays of mud. Nothing remains of the airship. Toward the man on the hill, one fragment of the machine comes screaming through the air. He raises his arms to protect himself, and in an instant everything is engulfed in roaring fire and darkness. Silence. The agent comes to. He is sprawled on the ground, lying in the mud and the rain amidst fragments of the slave generator. Back in District 54, B. He stands. The blue light gone. Its presence no longer felt. He is alone. The agent turns to the shrine, an old, old thing, maintained by those clinging to the past. Past. The woman in his arms. The child calling him dad. The sun on his face. Is this his past? His future? is somewhere else. What does lie beyond the grey city? He looks around and his mind and body wander. He gave up on vengeance. The director, PSO Labs, it all seems so far away now, so irrelevant. That head scientist might still be looking for him, but if he is in multiple timelines and the slave generator in this one is destroyed, then perhaps that head scientist will abandon this timeline. A new Pillar. That's what the entity had said. A new pillar to build his life around. The agent pulls off his gloves and looks at his hands. Raindrops run down his fingers and palms, cut, bruised, and scarred. They have taken lives, often without question. But for what? No. He mustn't blame himself. He was being used. Literally. His mind was being controlled. Wasn't it? The agent gathers his weapons together, gathers the belongings of the senator, and leaves them unloaded at the foot of the shrine. Perhaps he should. 
he hears shouts in the distance. Soldiers must be coming to investigate the explosion. The agent stands, runs, jumps, grabs hold of the top of the shrine's outer wall. He steps up, pulls hard, and rolls up and over the wall, out of sight. And before anyone sees me, I'm out of here. A ghost. My friends, my fellow travelers, you have witnessed for the last time the good ending of the agent. Well done. My friends, praise my the friends, cube. a moment oh, to man. throw praise and worship also at my fellow tour guides who made tonight possible when hey. Dizo and Pimon Nick pop one, two, three, and Sheen was here for a bit as well, I guess. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 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 My friends, in a few minutes, we will have a portal to the after party, fear not. But before then, we are VR travelers. We create immersive story-based tours with original writing, beautiful worlds, and wholesome team effort. We do this for fun. We do this for free. We do this for you. However, we do ask one thing in return. Please join our growing Discord community and post photos and comments from today's tour in the Agent channel. I hope you have taken a lot of photos and I hope you have a lot of theories, thoughts and feedback because That was the last agent. My retirement from performance is coming up. I only have two tours left. The Prince. See the last event post for the dates when these will be held. My friends, the Discord server ID is my status in VRChat. If you need help joining the Discord, Please come to me after the event is over. And finally, if you really enjoy the work our team puts into this and you want to help us write more stories and create more beautiful worlds, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Our Patreon starts at $3 per month and joining grants you access to clues to our mysteries, behind the scenes features, eligibility to play as NPCs in some of our tours, the private Discord channel, and much more. Joining and subscribing for a full year is still less than you would pay for a single AAA game. My friends, I will give you a minute to have the floor to yourself, but I ask that... Um, ah, never mind, you can't breathe. In a minute... Ah group photo. I suppose Please. that is fitting. Thank you for reminding me. My friends, I'm going to stand here at the top of the stairs. I'm going to face that thick-looking think tank right there. Photographers, please gather your cameras and everyone else. 